hi so we are going to see one of the nlp project that is spam ham detection so basically what we are going to do is we are going to categorize messages or either ham or spam so we'll have a will be first what we'll be doing is we are going to perform import the library which is required and load the data set into a pandas data frame so what here they we did this thing and now we are going to run this cell so here you can see our sms spam collection tsv file has been loaded into data frame and here is the uh, top five label data is available the first one is as is uh, uh, labeled as ham that is genuine and the third one which is free entry ticket for two weekly this thing is spam so like this we have uh, multiple messages available in this file and now we will be checking whether there is any missing value or null value in uh, he in the file uh, data set or not so we'll run this uh, cell also and we found out like uh, everything is perfect so we can go ahead and take a look of the labeled call uh, column so now uh, our in our data set uh, there are around 4825 messages are labeled as ham and 747 messages are labeled as spam so we use this data to train our model so now uh, we will split the data in uh, into train and test sets so we will be using mo uh, sklearn model selection train test split and uh, we'll run this cell and after running we'll check like how many uh, basically we put a text size a uh, test size is 33 percent so we'll see how many data is are under this thing uh, train uh, training set and how many are in testing set so around 3433 uh, data are in training set and 1839 are in testing set so we will be now building a pipeline to vectorize the data uh, date then train and and fit the model so we'll be doing we'll be using uh, sklearn pipeline for combining the both our vectorizer and uh, linear support vector classifier in single go so we'll be using uh, this thing tf idf vectorizer and linear support vector uh, classifier for training our model so we'll run this one and now the pipeline is ready to go now we'll be doing our prediction and an analyze the result so will you will be using classifier dot predict on the testing data now prediction is done now we'll check whether how how our model performed so for that we will be using confusion matrix classification report and accuracy score so let's go and run the cell so uh, it is imported now let's see how the confusion matrix uh, is printing so our model is able to detect 1586 ham mail correctly and 234 spam mail correctly so that's quite good let's see the classification report and here also you can see the precision recall and fn score is quite good so let's go and see accuracy score of our mo uh, model and it is around 99 percent that is quite good so this is just a basic way in which we can predict uh, detect spam or ham messages thank you so much